Okay, this is a simple model that I did, this bird, and I've rigged it in a special kind of way. For starters, it's got all the standard controllers you would expect, individual finger controls, feet controls, and knee orientation points. In the face, the basic controllers as expected, eye controls, including individual blinks and brow controls. The problem that I figured with this kind of setup, especially figuring it's a bird and therefore it flies, animating with fly sequence manually can be a very uh, hideous job. So I wanted a simple way to animate it while maintaining realistic motion throughout the entire body while still being able to control it. To demonstrate this, I've put a looping dual key on only three controllers. The main center of the body with a simple up and down loop and the two shoulders having a simple back and forth uh, rotation keys. Viewing it in the graph editor, you can see the entire animation work done in the scene just looping out. When starting the simulation, you can immediately see the basic flight sequence. And right on the start, you can feel that wavy motion throughout the entire body. This setup has multiple sets of controllers, both on the actual model and following it, and on the side as a separate UI. They both control the same parts, but practically speaking, the 2D side controller has only 2D abilities controlling the main angle of the spine from the side view and the wings from the front view, and should basically be used for the main keying process, while the body controllers for small tweaks and movements in the axis that are not in 2D controller abilities. Demonstrating this on the live simulation, when I rotate the center of the neck on the side controller, you can see how that neck reacts while maintaining the flight motion to it. Another feature of added for the legs is a follow switch. Um, entering a value of 1 would be a full follow to the main body controller. So with that value it would just move as the body controller does with a steady up and down motion to it. A way to get it to feel more fluid, I'll enter a value of 0.8 and that would get it to follow the body on only 80% of the way. So the IK uh, connected to the feet will give the legs that extra motion to them with those uh, knee rotations added to it. The switches here on the lower spine and on the tail will effectively change the center of gravity of the bird and control the body's main shape of the spine. I'm taking the lower spine and tail controllers, rotating them upwards and translating them up. You can now see how those body parts are reacting, repositioning and affecting the entire body motion. When adding this to a forward rotation to the neck and translating it down, the entire thing changes. Well, the eyes are still stuck to those independent target controllers. Those have the same trick of done with the legs, so grabbing the head, I'll turn on that eyes follow switch to solve that. And, and again, you can make it only halfway through to still make the eyeballs maintain movement for that extra motion. The jaw obviously has an independent controller and the neck pivot does have follow switch as well, so right now, no matter the neck orientation, the head is always pointing to the left side. So by turning the switch on, by entering a value of 1, it will force the head to orient itself to the neck chain. Now, depending on the action, you might need to change different parts of the rig stiffness. A more rapid, fast uh, animation, you would want the body parts being more stiff to their uh, original curves, so they would not lose position or gimbal lock, and sometimes you would just want a stiffer motion. While when exhausted after a long day work, you might want it to be more soft and more uh, easily reacting and being more dragged into the motion. So for that main body controller, I've put these extra stiffness scales for each body part. So the neck right now looks very soft and it looks like this bird is about to die. So I'll bump up the neck stiffness from 0.01 to 0.1, which will give it a much stiffer hold to it. I'll reset the configuration to the original setup. All the simulated parts can be adjusted uh, through here and keyed throughout the animation. So now looking at the bird's beak, I can see that that area has right now very subtle motion to it. And the beak itself has some very mild motion to it, but it's barely notable. Assuming I would want it to have a more sort of tune-like behavior, making it softer, I'll just drop the value from 0.189 to 0.05 just about a quarter of it and you can now see that this wiggling kind of motion that it got from this this kind of tweak is available for all the simulated body parts so the lower body the upper body and the tail the beak and the wings so this setup really does follow a wave-like kind of action uh, if you take a look at the spine and wing curves you can better see how the rig manipulates those wave action curves throughout the entire body which correspondingly affect the model geometry so everything in this setup is controllable while maintaining those wavy motion curves. Demonstrating the wings, dropping the value to a third will give it a much softer dragging motion, while scaling the value up will give it a much more rigid, intense and powerful wing action. 
finally I'll demonstrate screwing the left wing as if it was maybe injured or pointing at something. And that happens immediately uh, while all the motion is maintained. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. Bye.